Hey everyone, let's take a look at an 8F32 watch from Seiko here. So, um, if you're not familiar with the 8F line, and I'm not saying I'm super familiar with it, I'm a little familiar, it is a slightly older, high accuracy quartz uh, line. Um, that means rather than measuring its accuracy in seconds per um, day or like a mechanical or seconds per month like most quartz watches it's accurate to within a certain number of seconds per year generally that's a a good a good way to define a high accuracy quartz watch at least I feel like it is um, this watch is accurate to within 20 seconds per year and that's it's like rated accuracy so your actual accuracy might be even better there's a lot of watches that use this movement this is the only one that I have so I thought I would make a quick kind of overview of it because it's kind of special and um, uh, yeah um, so you may have heard of the 9F series of movements that's only used now with Grand Seikos and that's their latest high accuracy quartz movement but the 8F series there were a couple of different watches um, they were the one before it not only are they um, high accuracy but uh, they have a long battery life so this one the 8F 32 has a 10-year battery life. Um, I bought this in a non-working condition, took a risk hoping it was the battery, and it was. Um, the battery was like three or four dollars. It was pretty rare. It was like a 24 millimeter wide. I've, I've never really seen a battery that wide, but easy enough to install. You have to be careful that you don't like accidentally. You always have to be careful when you're changing a battery. It's so easy to think it's so easy that it's also very easy to break a quartz watch because everyone says, oh, it's just a new battery. Yeah, well, your tool can easily scratch um, the coil and then destroy it. Um, and that's no different on this watch. You do have to be careful that you remove the battery with some care. And setting it is kind of like a weird game because it has a perpetual calendar. All 8F32 watches have that as well, which means it's going to keep track of 30, 31 day and 28, 29 day months so it keeps track of leap years and months really cool um and you set that by like matching all these contacts like around the periphery of the battery it's kind of funky but the instructions are online and it's it's not hard once you set it though it's good for like the 10 years right it's only going to lose 20 seconds or so per year of time and um sure enough it's the yeah it's the 27th and i think i set this quite a while ago now a few months ago so this watch is fully working it's a black ip it's an integrated bracelet um a bit of resistance on the bezel kind of interesting there's no markings on that bezel you don't really see that too often but i feel like while that makes it less of an actual diver that makes it kind of um, a nice minimalistic style and maybe a little more practical for daily use like just you know mark off wherever you are and I don't know. I, I do like the style of it. It's a minimalist look with only the 12 and 6 marked. You have the uh, 4 o'clock uh, date that kind of keeps things compact. Um, screw down crown, and you're not going to be doing this very often because it's, you know, it's not only very accurate, but you never need to set the date. I think it is possible for me to set... I don't want to... Yeah, so I could do it two different positions. I'm not too sure why I would new, need to mess up the date, how that compares with what I did with the case back open. But I'll leave it here for now. You can probably do some minimal changes like changing the date, but I feel like once you set it, you set it once every 10 years, you do a quick Google search, find out how to do that. Um, yeah, so it's the 8F32-0210. So 0210 is the model or case number. That's this pretty cool crystal. Um, just an, I like a little bit of distortion like that. So it's domed. I don't think it's sapphire. There's some hairline scratches on it. But overall, it's in pretty good condition. Um, I have a 7.5 inch wrist, and it like just fits me on its like largest setting here so that's pretty cool I, I probably would want an extra link if I could or 
I'd want slightly smaller wrists. Seven and a quarter, I think, would be just fine. And that just looks really nice. Um, yeah, so I think that's all there is to talk about this watch. It's just an oddball I picked up, and I was able to bring back with a new battery, set it just right. And, and that's that. That's the uh, Seiko 8F32 watch. Oh, yeah, I wanted to mention there's an 8F33, an 8F35, uh, 8F56. There's different 8F series movements. Some of them are GMT. Um, I think that's the 35. I think the 33 is a high torque version with like so larger hands, but like less battery life. And the 56, um, I don't know. There's just different different movements within that line. That's all, that's all that I I do know. But this I'm pretty sure is the smallest, simplest one in the line. And like if you just want a simple everyday watch. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, I've seen the same exact watch with just a steel case, not IP coded. Uh, that also looks pretty sweet. But these are, this is one of a whole bunch of watches that use that movement. Um, so yeah, do a search for that and um, pick one up, I guess. Okay, um, yeah, should say one last thing. If you like Japanese watches, like Seiko Citizen, Casio watches, and you like the weirder quartz watches gps watches that sort of thing i'm going to be making more and more reviews of the watches that i have and i'd appreciate like a like on this if you liked it dislike it if you didn't i guess and uh, maybe make a comment like tell me if you have one of these what you think about it um i'm not i'm not trying to do this like full time or anything but i would like to start a little bit of a dialogue i would like to have some people watch this and kind of get some feedback that would be pretty cool and if you want to see more of these watches that i have yeah subscribe um i think that'll help you honestly more than help me because there's some cool watches that aren't on youtube and you'll get to see them all right that's it thank you very much